how to become a data analyst. There are many roads, pathways and tried and tested routes to become a data analyst. And although it's not the pathway that I took, one renowned way to get there is by taking the Google Data Analytics certification. So over the last couple of weeks, I've actually went through it, completed it now, and can give an honest and impartial review of what I actually think. So I'll be going over a summary of its contents, what you will learn, tips to actually get the most out of the certificate, positives, don't forget about the negatives, and of course, if it will actually land you that first job. The certificate is self-paced, completely online, and estimated to take you around six months working at 10 hours a week, which is a complete stretch, but more on that a bit later, and it's priced at $39 per month. The certificate teaches you how to tackle data analytics problems using Google structure, where you initially ask the right questions to the stakeholder to understand the business problem, and by the end of the project, can share your insights, and of course, provide data-led recommendations and options that they can act on. The certification is split into eight individual courses, where there's a combination of instructor-led videos, individual readings, sandbox activities and quizzes and then finally weekly challenges and course challenges that you need to obtain 80% on to progress throughout the certification. So in course one you start with the foundation of data so you get some insight on the data analytics toolbox an understanding of the day-to-day -day tasks and also come across some key data analytics concepts. I alluded to earlier the structure that Google use to tackle data analytics projects which starts with asking the right questions, moving on to preparing the data, processing the data, analyzing it, sharing it, and then finally acting, which is also the layout of the courses from two to six and then eight respectively. Course two is where you start to learn about how to ask stakeholders the right questions. So how these questions will lead to data-led decisions, and then finally start to get a little look at spreadsheets, where they use Google Sheets, but you can use Excel as I did myself. Course three is where things finally start to pick up a little bit and emphasis on the word finally, I nearly fell asleep countless times during course one and two. And how problem solving relates to each phase of the data now. And this is the prepare section where you start to learn about data integrity and its importance, concepts like sample size and bias and the impact it can have on your findings, looking at different data types, moving on to database fundamentals like primary keys and foreign keys, starting to get some practice with SQL using Google's BigQuery and then moving on to spreadsheets again so you can start preparing for data cleaning. <laughs> I love data cleaning. Course four is the process section where you start your journey with data cleaning and get a chance to understand more about data integrity alongside using tools like SQL and spreadsheets to start cleaning data. Course five moves on to analyzing the data that is of course now clean. So looking at filtering and first ordering that data and then using aggregate functions like count and sum within SQL and spreadsheets. This also looks at joining different data sets together. So in SQL using joins and sub queries and then in spreadsheets using VLOOKUPs to do the same thing. Course six is the share section where you start to learn about how to create beautiful visualizations using Tableau's online tool called Tableau Cloud, how to actually create reports and dashboards, create presentations, where of course your beautiful visualizations can be inserted into, and then moreover, actually learn about the art of storytelling. So how to tell a great story that your stakeholders will really be able to receive, digest, and actually gain value from. Course seven is where you start to learn about the R programming language and its innate ability to clean, analyze and visualize data. This starts with the fundamentals of the language. So looking at functions, data types, vectors and pipes, and then further looking at the packages that will allow you to analyze and visualize data. So looking at the tidyverse and ggplot2. They also showcase how you can use R to share your code and your findings through R markdowns with colleagues and stakeholders. So how R can be used from the inception of a data analytics project to the end where you actually want to share your insights, your findings, so that you can make data-led recommendations and options. And then course eight, the most important of them all, is where you consolidate all the knowledge and everything you've learned so far to finally act and create a capstone project where you get an option of creating a case study of your choice. You also get insight on how to start creating a portfolio and then get interview tips and tricks 
so you can be helped and aided on your job hunt. So I'll start with the elephant in the room. Even as a beginner, you do not need to spend six months working on this certificate. And you can definitely do it within two to three months. So that additional money that you would have spent on the three to four months, you can either use it to save, invest in yourself or something else, or treat yourself. And this is because a lot of the tasks and activities that they have you doing, say durations of about one hour, when in my opinion, you can do it in half of that time, if that. Additionally, the reading, there's a lot of cross-reference material in the videos. So of course, if you're watching all the videos, then you don't need to actually read in depth all the readings provided. But I would still, at bare minimum, skim through the readings as there's additional nuggets of information there that are not provided in the videos. So you need to do what you can to, of course, take that information as, of course, is valuable to you. To accelerate through the certificate faster, the course actually provides you with a diagnostic quiz for both course one and course two, as these are the parts that don't have as much technical elements to the rest of the course. And here you can actually assess how much you know. So if you do get 100%, you can just carry on with the rest of the course. So by just going straight to the weekly challenges and then course challenge for both course one and course two. Now, if you happen to not get 100%, you can assess what you don't know in that section, which the quiz actually gives you a direct link to where you can get information on what you got wrong. Once you reassess this, get understanding of this, going back straight to the quiz, seeing if you can get 100% and if you can, then knowing that you know everything in this section. So course one and course two, and then moving on. Additionally, despite them not being compulsory to progress within the certification itself, I would suggest working on all of the sandbox exercises and activities provided as they really give you the opportunity to start practicing with spreadsheets, the R programming language and SQL. And then finally, with all the resources they provide, so the PDFs and the links, I would definitely save them in a place where you have easy access because they are really, really insightful and will really help you when you fall into some trouble, which of course we all do at some time. So I'll start with the positives. I really like how the certification is structured in a way that's easy to digest and understand for anyone. Really showing how Google is committed to what it says on the tin that no prior experience is needed to make a start with the certification. I also like that throughout the certification, the tasks, the challenges, the activities, all based on potential business problems that you can face as a data analyst really putting you into the mindset of a data analyst, or let's just say the shoes. And then finally, when you're going through the videos, they even have in-video quizzes to ensure they actually paying attention and will ask you a question that you can't progress through without getting the answer right, which is really, really good because let's be honest nowadays, attention spans, <laughs> they're at the lowest. We really just don't be paying attention to what we're watching. The negatives. My only negative is that Course six of the certification, we start to use Tableau to create visualizations. It's very limited to the rest of the certification. With this being said, it does get you started with creating visualizations. So if you do the legwork, so you're cleaning and analyzing at the data source, which is suggested with BI tools, then it is adequate in getting you started. And of course, providing you with the visualizations for your projects. I believe that this certification would be a valuable asset to anybody looking to make a start with data analytics as it provides you with all the components to start and complete data projects of your own, followed by moving on to creating your own portfolio that you can showcase at interviews, jobs, and to wow employers. But will the certification get you a job? Alone, unfortunately, no. At this point, many people have taken the certification and completed it, so I don't think it gives you enough of a competitive advantage against other candidates. But what it does give you is the skills to talk about in your interviews, skills that you used on the case study itself, and then also ability to start working on your personal portfolio, which you can start showing and impressing employers with. Now, of course, if you got any value from this video at all, then drop a like, subscribe, and maybe even have a look at this video here. And until next time, stay blessed, take care, and peace.